my name's Ben. Um, I have, unfortunately, have arachnoiditis. I acquired arachnoiditis through a steroid injection, um, a guided steroid injection, which went intrathecal. I had that um, experience in March of 2016. We're now in February of 2017. Um, I don't have a caregiver or my own caregiver. Arachnoiditis is an overwhelming condition um, which is very challenging for an individual. Why I don't have a caregiver is currently due to my uh, family situation. I'm from Australia, I'm actually visiting some friends over in America at the moment. Um, would it be great? Yes, it would be. I guess as the disease was to advance. Why I don't have one um, is because I live with a friend and my two children. Do I need one? Not at this stage. Um, the way that I've tackled arachnoiditis is through psychology, um, education, and learning that the best tool that we have with all of this is our minds. Um, what can I say to other patients is probably what I've just said. So it's through psychotherapy, taking control, owning your condition, and not doctor hopping. There is no cure. There is only pain management. Um, pain management comes from within. I was fortunate enough to have a neurologist who told me that she could, she could do nothing for me. She was unable to help me. I found that to be rather confronting. I had a GP who told me exactly the same and then you become doctor hopping. I went to a psychologist and the psychologist has, has told me that there is nothing that anybody can do and it's up to yourself to improve yourself to get yourself to a point where you can best manage with little assistance as possible. Um, that is what I continue to do and will continue to do until I get myself in a place where I can seek some comfort. My name is Melanie Lamb and I was injured in 2009. Um, I'd gone in for a lumbar puncture and the doctor performing the procedure got off balance and jammed the needle all the way through my spinal cord and uh, it left me with a condition called arachnoiditis. My life was forever changed and I was dependent upon caregivers to take care of me. Um, they had they rotated their shifts for a few years up until 2013. It was then that my youngest son Josh moved in with me and became my full-time caregiver. It's been a tough battle. It's been extremely difficult for the both of us. Um, no child expects that, especially at such a young age in their 20s, that they're going to have to become a full-time caregiver for their mother. Before this happened to me, I was active. I was an animal trainer. Um, I traveled to schools and churches and gave public speaking, uh, taught education and conservation programs. And, you know, it, this has been a mental battle as well as a physical battle. And without caregivers and the right support structure, it would be impossible to take this on. For a long time, I was medicated, pharmaceuticals, and it all but destroyed my life. It all but destroyed the relationships with the ones that I love. So I had to become stronger than the person that I already was and find avenues, um, ways to um, improvise so that I could adapt and overcome the situations that I was facing and it was the best decision that I made. Um, I use essential oils, hydrotherapy, music, I have a weighted blanket. Um, the best advice that I received was from Dr. Terry Lewis. She had told, she knew how headstrong I was and she knew what I was trying to achieve and she told me that if I wanted to do this she supported me that I would have to retrain my brain. 
So I've spent the last three years retraining my brain and it has become a task that I take on every single day so that I can do what the physicians were saying that I would never be able to accomplish and that is to have days that I am pharmaceutical free. Every day I continue to strive and so many others do too. I feel that the most important thing that we can do in this battle is to take on the psychological aspect of it because our brain is the most powerful weapon that we have and we need caregivers. Without caregivers we wouldn't be able to get through on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you. Some of the accomplishments that I've been able to achieve by retraining my brain, that I've been paddle boarding. Um, I suppose the biggest accomplishment would be that I'm walking. <laughs> um, I'm training dogs again, not as much, but I am training. Um, I've been able to go hiking. I've, uh, gosh, I drive. I can drive again, I exercise. Um, my quality of life has definitely increased and I couldn't have done that without retraining my brain and I'm so grateful uh, to Dr. Terry Lewis for helping me along the way to be able to achieve this. Hey, I'm Josh. I'm Melanie's son. I've been her main caregiver since July of 2013. However, we've been on this journey together since October of 2009. It's been a roller coaster ride for sure. I've had to learn to be a provider first and her son second. I've had to learn how to be patient with everything in life and what goes on around here as far as being my mom's caregiver. It takes a lot of sacrifice as far as wanting to do what I want to do. Most of the time, I have to give up a lot. Of, I've given up a lot of social life. I'm grocery runs, errands for her. It all comes down to her at the end of the day because she's the one that's needed to be taken care of. We've had to go through our battles, but we always seem to work through it. It's not something to take lightly. You will lose a lot of what you want to do, but at the end of the day, that's not what's important. Encouragement. It, be prepared for the hard times. Be prepared for all-nighters. Your person that you're taking care of, hard times, hospital trips, whatever it has to take, you have to be a strong one. It is hard. It seems impossible most days and nights, but be hopeful, pray, you'll get through it. Don't forget what you're doing and why you're doing it. It's easier said than done, but you'll learn when it comes down to breaking everything down.